I've heard people describe animals like angels coming in and loving and supporting someone in such a, an amazing way. And I never really understood what that meant until Liza met Kylie. Kylie um, was the surprise for our family. We weren't expecting our fourth child. From the time she was born, we called her Smiley Kylie, but really she made us smile. I think most I admired her joy. <laughs> she would do whatever she needed to to make someone else happy. And two, and one, two. Love to be on stage. That was her passion, and she was very good at it. She had such a great imagination. She was a peacemaker. She was the glue that held our family together. Kylie always had a way of taking a hardship in life and finding joy in the midst of a terrible situation. It was such a blow to us when Kylie was diagnosed with metastatic bone cancer at the age of 12. The prognosis was not great, but we started treatment. It was a brutal treatment process for her. But she was a master at finding ways to be joyful. All about that ball, about that ball. No hair for my hairbrush. While she was undergoing radiation, she began asking for a baby kitten. We already had four pets at home. We said, let's finish radiation, let's get back home again, and then we'll talk about it. Radiation seemed to be working. She was walking again, feeling better, and eating a little more, and we were very encouraged. And then, the last day of radiation, she was beginning to have some pain in her shoulder. They did a scan, and they discovered that the cancer had spread throughout her body. And they knew at this point that she wasn't gonna make it. When we got her home from the hospital, she recognized her opportunity and she looked up at Mark with great big eyes and said, now can I have a baby kitty? He made a phone call and literally within an hour, the sweet lady from this rescue organization showed up at our doorstep with this tiny little kitten that we could foster. Her eye was matted. She had just finished a, a flea treatment. You could tell that she had had a rough start to life. They brought her into Kylie. Kylie sat up and gave us one of the last smiles that she ever gave us. And she said, her name is Eliza and you shall call her Liza. <laughs> Kylie asked for a bottle and fed her some milk out of a bottle. She got tired and she laid down and Liza curled up in the crook of her arm and just put her paw up over Kylie's shoulder and they just slept. And for the next two and a half days, that kitten didn't leave Kylie's side. We would move Liza and take her to the litter box when we were giving Kylie medication and she played with my other daughters, but immediately she would just jump in the bed with Kylie and curl right back up again. And she just was completely devoted to loving on Kylie. She had this purpose and it was the most beautiful thing to see. And as the time came and we knew that Kylie wasn't gonna be with us much longer, she told Mark she wanted him to find a cure for childhood cancer. And then she looked at me and she said, Mommy, I want you to take care of my baby kitten. I thought at first that her rescuing was over, that she had been there for Kylie and that was her mission. That was only part of her mission. When we lost Kylie, Liza knew just what we needed. I would start to cry and Liza from wherever she was in the house would come and just curl up in my lap and just wait out the storm with me. I've never experienced a pet, particularly a cat, that is so in tune to what we need and 
taking care of her and loving on her is a way that makes me know that I'm still doing something for Kylie. I don't know how we would have made it through the last year without her being a part of our family. This little kitty has made such a difference in our lives. We're all completely smitten with her. She's this old soul in this tiny little kitten's body. Kylie told me to take care of Liza, but it's also like she whispered to Liza to take care of me. 